Okay, today we are going to discuss about the second method of uh, part B, IET reading. So the this method, you can see that uh, the question itself is a short one and it may ask for what's the meaning of the whole passage or what's the purpose of the passages. In that case, you should not read the options A, B and C and instead of reading the options, you can read the whole paragraph and understand what it meaning and what it means and you can uh, go back to the options and find out the answer easily so here the question is the purpose of the guideline is to so the guideline says the guideline for substantiating claims for diagnostic imaging and pathology services rented to emergency department patients of public hospitals so Public hospitals are funded under an arrangement with the Australian government to provide free public hospital services to eligible patients. So this includes diagnostic imaging and pathology services provided to public hospital emergency department patients. A patient who presents to a public hospital emergency department should be treated as a public patient. But if that patient is subsequently admitted, they may elect to be treated as a private patient for those admitted services. For a Medicare claim to be paid for a patient in a public hospital, the patient must be admitted as a private patient at the time of the service was rendered. Where a service for a patient in a public hospital has been billed to Medicare, the hospital or rendering practitioner may be asked to substantiate these claims. Documents you may use include the form which the patient or next of kin care carer or guardian has signed indicating that the patient has elected to be admitted as a private patient and patient records that shows the patient was admitted as a private patient at the time of the service was rented. So in this paragraph you can understand that it's talking about Australian government public hospitals and Medicare claims and it is the emergency services patient emergency department patients who are admitted in public hospital can be treated as private patient as well if they need to claim for Medicare so that means it is all about Medicare claims and about the public patients and the private patients that is the full content of the passage then you can go back to the options then read the options carefully and find out your answers so option a is prevent medicare claims being paid for public patients okay so they're telling that that it is to prevent medicare claims so we are talking about medicare yes that's correct we are talking about medicare Okay, so claims being paid for public patients. Yes, for public patients usually will not get a Medicare claims because that will be, they should be prevent, uh, present as uh, private patients. So that may be a right answer. You can check the option B and C, then you can come back which one is the correct answer is. Okay, so option B is specify when services can be billed to Medicare. So it's not specifying that uh, when services can be billed to Medicare. Okay, so the second, uh, the third option is ensure healthcare professionals don't falsify claims and it's not talking about falsifying claims. So the first one option A is the correct answer. So prevent Medicare claims being paid for public patients. So the second method is useful when it is, you know, the question may be a uh, direct question to the paragraph itself. That time you can't find out your answer with the keyword method. So that time you can read the question and go back to the paragraph itself and read and understand what is the content of the paragraph then you come back to the options and find out the answer.